Well, praise the good Lord, saints at the most high. I mean, like, can you believe it? Today is December the 31st, 2021. And you know what? As I was reflecting on this week about this day um, in my year of 2021, which most of you know, um, a lot of you know more than others of all the stuff that my family and I have encountered. But I'm determined to go out of this year, not so much as thinking about those things, but more about just giving God thanks and giving him glory and worshiping and praising him for allowing us to be able to see this day and to go into a new year. And so I thank God for that. I'm not going to focus on what happened so much on this year, but I'm going to focus on how God has blessed us tremendously in just so many ways. And so I give God glory for that. Give God glory for allowing us to see another day and the end of another year. I thank and praise God for blessing us in the health awareness class, um, even giving me strength to continue to go on. Um, everything that I have done videos, uh, links, uh, workshops, or whatever. I give God all the glory for that. That is none of me. Uh, it's all the Lord. And it's, it's interesting and funny of how many notes and ideas and different things that I have um, that God has allowed to come forth, that he's given to me and um, allowed to come forth. And so as we end out this year, I'm actually hoping um, for even a greater year next year. I'm hoping for more to join the health awareness class because I do feel that a lot of people are catching on. They're catching on and they're catching up. Um, I was at the store on this week, and so there's two things I found interesting um, at the store, and that's what I'm going to talk about today very briefly as we are about to approach a new year and you know how that is new year new year resolutions so forth and so on so um this time of the year it's interesting how um the health um marketing they're marketing towards better health this time of the year is what i'm trying to say so we we've had christmas and it's all about christmas 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 it's all about shopping 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 eating 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 between thanksgiving christmas um and all those things and whatnot and now you know the the economy or um the marketing out there is it's not switched from that to now it's all about healthy 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 which that should be something that's all year round it shouldn't just be new year's uh, new year's resolution that is at every day lifestyle you have to make health your lifestyle not just a new year's resolution not just when i'm when i turn 40 this is for anyone and everybody no matter who you are how old you are even to from the babies you know because we train them up so this is not something that we should be putting off and, and waiting for a certain time or like my husband would say, some magical something's going to happen on New Year's Day or something of that sort. That's not so. But it was interesting that when I went into the store this week to make my purchases, um, I noticed this big old, I mean this big, it was like a big section, shelves of supplements. And... It was interesting to me because I, I thought, okay, here we go. You know, I mean, they're going to sell us. They're going to sell us the supplements. They're going to sell us the exercise equipment to get in the gym and all those stuff. And, and, it's, and it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. So please understand it's not a bad thing. But they know who they can, who they're targeting to, you know. So, um, but I, I thought it was interesting because it was right next to all the clearance out Christmas candies and 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 um, bakery items and all that stuff. So it was right right next to it. So you know, I guess that for a person that might be struggling, that might be a hard thing because even on the let me read it, even on the um, the, even they were advertising and they were saying that find your healthy, redefine wellness. Find your healthy, we redefine wellness, but it's right next to all the clearance out 
Christmas, you know, goodies. So I can only imagine that somebody probably know to do well, but then when you can get, you know, uh, some Christmas cookies or whatever for 50% and 75% off, I wonder how many people went for the supplements or they went for the cookies. But anyway, so I thought that was very interesting. Um, just know that they're, they're targeting you. They know who to target to this time of the year. But let this not be just a New Year's resolution for you when it is concerning your health. Supplements are good and are important since we're on the subject of supplements. Um, they, uh, they had a key, um, kiosk code that you can you know scan, uh, um, a code you can scan. Um, and so you can find out about what supplements works for you. Well, that's something that you might want to, you definitely want to do your research on, which you need to take and whatnot, and then also ask your doctor if you do see a doctor. So definitely ask your doctor or whatever. But supplements are not to um, take the place of eating healthy because a lot of people want to take the supplements and then still, you know, eat bad. No, to me, supplements is, it helps you, helps you to get what you're not getting, but that's not because you're not trying to. You're just not getting enough of it. And so you want to be able to be sure that you're eating all your fruits and all your vegetables and your proteins and, you know, your um, ligaments and all those things. Um, stay, staying away from the sugar and whatnot. You want to make sure you're doing all those things, but then the supplements is kind of, you know, enhance or add to what you're not getting completely in what you're supposed to be eating. So taking the supplements and you're still eating unhealthy and stuff, ah, Partially, I would say is almost in vain, but you know, that's just my way of thinking. Um, anyway, the other interesting thing that I had saw was um, that sign might have always been there, but I didn't pay attention to it to this week for some reason, maybe because the bananas were very slim in my selection. And so it made me look down the, you know, the green way, you know, where all the green bananas are sitting. And I saw this big sign and it said green, um, a green appeal, green appeal. So it was like low sugar, low in sugar and high in fiber. So what they were saying is go green on your bananas. And so to me, that, that make, that makes sense. And it made a whole lot of sense, but I can't say that I've always considered going green in my bananas. I do, I do remember talking that bananas are high in sugar, depending on the size of banana you have and how ripe it is. You can have like 12 grams to 17 grams of sugar in it. Um, so I remember even with Premier when they would say, you know, and I, I don't do this because I do like bananas. When I eat the bananas, I eat the whole bananas about how they would tell us to eat half bananas. But anyway, go green on bananas. Why do you want to go green on bananas? Because um, it said during the ripening, so as it is ripening, it is increasing in starch, which increase sugar. So when you talk about starchy foods, you know, all the stuff that are very, you know, starchy or whatever, also know that it turns, starch turns into sugar. So that is as the banana is ripening, it becomes more starchy, which increases in sugar. Um, some benefits of going green is... Um, High resistance to starch, probiotic bacteria. There, it contains probiotic bacteria that helps with good colon health. So, I mean, that's that's a plus right there for me. And then it also helps to absorb nutrients like calcium. So, as you're picking your bananas, as you especially putting them in your smoothies or whatever. Yes, it, it, it makes a whole lot of sense because that, that's why a lot of us avoid the green bananas because they're not sweet. They're not sweet. They're not soft and soft or anything of that sort. But if you can go green on your bananas, it benefits you better because it has low um, sugar and, um, and then all the other stuff that I mentioned, the probiotics, bacteria, resistance to starch, and... Um, good for your um for nutrients like calcium so anyway but um other than that i really did not i was just going to do a video just to thank you all for your support 
Um, I really appreciate the support that you have, whether it was coming to the workshops, giving me feedback. Some people have given me stuff, you know, to um, share links with me and, and different things of that sort. Um, so I really appreciate it. Um, I know that just like my health has me changing my lifestyle and my health has changed my family's lifestyle and health. Um, hopefully I have helped you in some way. And as you begin to change, know that you'll be able to help somebody else. I will say this though, um, a great story. Um, one of the things that shared with me that their son, um, who for reasons, personal reasons and stuff like that, decided to make a health change. And they were sharing with me the pictures, the before and after and what they were doing. And like, I am just so, so proud of this man. He's not part of the uh, health awareness. He's not, he doesn't even live in the state, but she was just sharing that with me. And so, and I asked her the question, if the family, if his family is going along with him, and she said, he's, they're not, you know, then that makes it hard and tough for him. But it goes back to your why. So have a why. Why are you doing? What is your why? As you go into this new year, what is your why? He had his reasoning. He has his whys. His, his wife and children, they don't have that same thing because they didn't have to battle with what he has to battle with. So make it personal to you. And you hold on to that. You keep that why. And then as you begin to make your changes and stuff like that and, and whatnot, trust me, people will see, people will understand, people will ask questions, and they will um, hopefully begin to make changes. So the last probably one or two things I want to say is be honest with yourself as you go into this new year. Be honest with yourself, all right? Be honest with yourself. We often says, um, we say all things are possible, but normally, typically, when we say those things, we just saying it because we believe in something that we want. But what about the things that we don't believe that could happen? Do we still believe that those things are possible? So when it comes to your health, whether you believe it or not, I'm telling you, it's possible. It's possible for you to lose the weight. It's possible for you to get off the medication. It is possible for you not to feel the aches and the pain that you're feeling in your body. It is possible for whatever disease, whether it's diabetes, high cholesterol, or whatever that you are dealing with can be reversed. It is possible. It's possible for you to get more energy. That headache, that those migraines that you're dealing with, it's possible for you to get rid of those things. It is possible to them that believe, but then also without, hallelujah, I thought about the scripture, without works, that faith that you have to have. It's not just the believing part, but you have to do something as well. Okay, so I didn't mean to go there, but anyway, but it's true. Believe it, it is possible, but there's something that you have to do. And then the last comment I have to make for this year is don't wait for a new year take advantage of the new day and any time that you feel inspired do something don't wait do it something now whether it's uh, you might feel inspired to buy it you know to get on the exercise equipment well start looking start searching don't wait don't wait to buy it start doing your research to go out and, and, and find it and and, and and whether it's online or going to the store whatever it is don't wait for some magical clock or something or whatever some there is no better day than today okay not tomorrow and yesterday, you can't do nothing about that, but don't wait till you, oh, well, when I turn this age and that age, and when I can, when I retire, and you know, all the excuses we give ourselves, take away the excuses, okay? Take away the excuses. Don't wait for a new year. Take advantage of the new day. So every day God gives us, take advantage of that day. The moment you feel inspired, do something, do something about it. So anyway... That's all I have for you today. Um, I pray that you all be well. If you're not well, I'm praying for you to, to be well. Um, be careful out there. Um, so I think that's about all. We'll be prayerful and mindful. For those that don't know, you have not received the message that we will not be having watch night service tonight. So keep the different saints in prayer. 
Um, so I've known several people. I myself was not well this week, but thank to God be the glory. You can hear me. You can see me now. So what I'm feeling is not what I felt earlier in this week. So to God be the glory. So continue to keep the church as a whole in prayer. I miss y'all. I was looking forward to seeing you tonight, but, um, I, you know, we, that won't be happening. I don't know if I'll be able to see you on Sunday or not. Lord willing, we'll see what happens. But anyway, in the meantime, just keep each other in prayer. Be careful out there. I love you all. I pray that you enjoy your day. And Lord willing, I will see you eventually. <laughs> I will see you eventually, Lord willing, in 2022. Thank you for everything. Love you. God bless.